A local nonprofit that gives to those in need has now given a car to a man that's been walking for years. So Ernest has been walking for five years to be exact, and he won't have to walk anymore unless he wants to. News 19's Deidre Briscoe has the story. Hey, Ernest, this is your car now. And I just want you to know that we got to give God all the glory for it because he's the one that made this happen. Ernest Chandler has been walking two hours to work and two hours from work every day. A walk that's five and a half miles long. He says he had to give up his car to help his family. We've been living here since 2009. I live with my nephew and his family and I help take care of them. Um, the past couple years we've had, had a car because we've had to sell it in order to stay up afloat with the bills. Five years of walking has come to an end after the JBD Foundation received a donation of a car that they then donated to Ernest. But first, he had to get his driver's license. All right, so um, your test is based on points. If you do anything dangerous or if you do anything illegal, it's an automatic fail. Okay. But we're just going to be driving around. Jacob Bradley Duggar passed in 2013. In his last days, the Duggars say he asked his dad, Ronnie Duggar, to start a foundation to raise money to be a blessing to children and adults who can't afford their needs. We have a chance to hear their story and a lot of times get to pray with them. And uh, every time we help someone, it just, it helps me and Libby just keep from missing Jacob so much because we know his vision's being kept alive. Now Ernest says he'd do it all over again. I'd do it all over again. If, uh, I hope that someday when someone sees this video, uh, they'll take it to heart and to help someone else in need that needs a vehicle. And I'll be that way too. Reporting in Morgan County, Deidre Briscoe, News 19. Love the thumbs up after he got his license, too. <laughs> Ernest says now that he's got a vehicle, he'll look after those that he sees walking the roads like he used to. And if you'd like to get in contact with the JBD Foundation, you can do that. There's more information on WHNT.com.